Hello well, everyone, this is Dr. Jawad from Total Health and Wellness Center. What I'm going to go over today is an important concept. I'm going to talk about the thyroid function overview. Now, a lot of patients who come to me that I work with with thyroid hormone panels, traditionally what they're being tested on, they're, tested on, they're only being tested on the thyroid stimulating hormone T4 and T3. However, there are many different areas of the body which a thyroid hormone is not being effectively utilized. So let me first start off with where the production of it is. So it starts off at the hypothalamus. The, the hypothalamus is what's considered the master gland. It sends a hormonal signal to the pituitary gland called thyroid releasing hormone. From the thyroid releasing hormone, it stimulates the pituitary gland to produce a signal, the thyroid stimulating hormone. Now these are one of the markers that are traditionally tested on a thyroid panel. So the thyroid stimulating hormone sends a signal to the thyroid gland, which is in the middle of the neck, right below the thyroid cartilage, butterfly shaped on either side of the windpipe. That's a thyroid gland. Now that produces T4 and T3 thyroid hormones. Now T4, 93% of T4 is inactive. Only three, I'm sorry, only 7% of T3 is active to be utilized in the body. So T4 in active form, it has to be called what's, it's what goes through a conversion process. Now there's different areas where it converts to active T3. 60% of inactive T4 is converted to active form T3 in the liver, 60%. So liver health is very, very important for thyroid conversion. 20% is converted into active T3 in the intestine by the way of good bacteria. So having a healthy gut is very, very important for the conversion of T4 to T3. Another, the last 20%, is, convertible, is converted to active form T3 in the peripheral target tissue. So there's different areas that inactive form of T4 is converted to T3. Now, there's two neurotransmitters in the brain that regulate, very important, that regulate control of the hypothalamus over the pituitary gland, and that's serotonin and dopamine. That's why these two neurotransmitters are very, very important and essential for overall thyroid function. Now, the majority of serotonin is produced at nighttime while we're sleeping. So if you're having poor night's sleep, you're not producing enough serotonin, this is what helps, this is what basically dysregulates the thyroid gland. Now, once the thyroid hormone is in the bloodstream, it's transported through what's called thyroid binding globulin, TBG. What that does, it transports the hormone throughout the body to be active. Now, there's many factors that could be, that could affect the thyroid binding globulin, and that is, estrogen and progesterone levels. Now what's thyroid binding globulin, that is like the transport mechanism. The best way to describe that, that's like the taxi cab that transports these hormones to be utilized. However, those are the same taxi cabs that are utilized by estrogen. So if you have too much estrogen in your body by way of birth control pills, if you're on a high gluten diet which, can, can, which contains a lot of estrogen, if you're taking a lot of dairy, that is estrogen, especially with the dairy cows now. What you're doing is that those taxi cabs are being utilized by the estrogen instead of the, uh, instead of the thyroid hormones, and this could affect your thyroid gland. So other conditions that will affect a thyroid hormone is there's an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's. That's why we test the TBO and the TG antibodies. Now Hashimoto's, it's an autoimmune disease that attacks the target tissue of the thyroid. So you're actually affecting the thyroid gland, the target tissue. So it's attacking this, which will either increase or decrease the level of thyroid hormone in the system. Remember, 60% is converted in the liver. So if you have bad liver function due to just medications, um, alcohol, or if you're having too much fat in your diet, which, which what's gonna happen, you're gonna have a condition called fatty liver. Remember, 60% of that inactive T4 is converted in the liver, so that you're gonna have inactive T3 due to those conditions. 20% is converted in the intestines, so if you have leaky gut due to excess amount of gluten ingestion, or conditions like small, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, you're going to, again, it's going to inhibit or slow down the conversion of inactive T4 to T3. 
So there's a lot of different areas that will affect your thyroid function, the thyroid hormones. That's why in my office, what I like to do with my patients, I want to do a full thyroid panel because I want to see from where you're starting to the peripheral tissues, where there's antibodies, where those are all being affected for your thyroid gland. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. My office number is 630-653-2225. Website is www.totalhealthypage.com. I'm Dr. Jawad. Thank you.